Stitch Fix unboxing. For those of you unfamiliar with Stitch Fix, it's a fashion subscription or a clothing subscription. You get five items. You can be very specific or very vague on what you're looking for. The more specific you are, the more the stylist can get an idea and feel of your style and your needs and wants. You fill out a very lengthy profile to give them an idea of your sizing and coloring that you like and styles and all of that. Um, if you're interested in signing up, I will link it below and I will jump into my unboxing. So I didn't ask for anything very specific this time around. I did ask the stylist to stay within my budget range for my items because they you are able to put a budget on each piece and how much you want to spend. So I did do that, but other than that, um, I wasn't too specific, but I did ask her to check out my fashion board on Pinterest to get an idea of the style that I like or, you know, style that I'm looking to add to my collection. So, so inside the box you get the items. You also get an invoice with the pricing and all of that of each item. You also get a note from your stylist and then some styling cards that show you each item in your box in ways you can style it with pieces that maybe that you have or that you can pick up. So it's like a little styling card for each of the items. So I did try this on already but I'm also going to add in a video of me wearing the items so that you can see them in person and then with me wearing them. So the first piece is the DLE Callista Wrap Front crop knit top in a size medium and it costs $34 so it kind of crosses in the front and then it has a tie wrap around the front waist I really like crop tops in the summer with high-waisted jeans or a pair of high-waisted shorts so this would be really cute in the summer it is a little bit big um, like I mentioned I tried it on and it's a medium and I'm normally a size small in tops so, um, yeah, I would have preferred this if it was a little bit tighter. Um, I do like the crop top and the ribbed material. I'm not crazy about the tie in the front, but I do think it's cute overall and the price is pretty good. So that's the first item. Next is the gold ray. Carol Exposed Back Cami in Gray, and it was a medium. It was $48. So this is kind of hard to show you on camera because it's very drapey, so you'll see it better when you see the video of me wearing the item. But it's kind of like a cowl neck in the front, and it has spaghetti straps, and then it crosses in the back, and then it drapes even lower in the back. It's a really silk material, silky material. Um, I do find this really pretty, but it's not really me. I don't like cowl necks, and I can't go braless, and you definitely need to go braless with something like this because your whole entire back is exposed. It's really like sexy and pretty. It's just not something I personally would wear, so this is kind of a miss for me. Once again, this is the Gold Ray Carol Exposed Back Cami in gray, and it was $48. item is the Kaylee Grady Split Back Knit Top in the color olive and it's a medium. The price is $28. This is really pretty. I actually really like this. It has a ribbed material and in the back it is open so your whole back isn't exposed but it kind of drapes in a way that you can kind of see your back a little bit if you move a certain direction. I think this will go really nice with a pair of leggings because it's long so it kind of covers your butt. And I do like the feeling of the material, it looks really nice and feels very nice. The only thing once again is this is a medium, I'm not sure if I change the sizing on my profile but usually I'm a small so this once again is a little big but um, I do like the style of the top and think it would look really cute with a pair of wedges and leggings. Once again, this is the Kaylee Grady Split Back Knit Top in the color olive. It's a medium and it's $28. 
Next is by Vince Camuto, and it's the Emsley Side Lace Up Camo Knit. It's a light gray, it's a medium, and it was $58. So I did mention that I love camo. It's just something that I always gravitate towards, so it was nice that she put something in there with camo. Um, once again, sizing, I think this is just a this whole box is just a little bit too big for me and in terms of sizing. I might have made the mistake and changed it because the last time there might have been smalls that were too tight on me so I might have gone up a size but I really think after trying this on I should have stayed with the size small. Uh, this shirt, it's it doesn't really do anything for me. I do like the print but it once again was really big on me and for $60 it's just a plain burnout so I'd probably pass on this. And the last item is by Reverie, and it's the L Distress Skinny Jean in the color Coral. The size are a 6, and they are $48. So I really love the color of these for the spring. I think these would look great with a denim top, you know, uh, just like a button-up denim top, or just a plain white shirt, or even black. I love the distressed detail on the pant and on the bottom. These are actually kind of like ankle jeans so they don't go past my ankle they kind of stop right near or above my ankle so they would look I think best with like booties or wedges or sandals but I really like the color and these are a I wouldn't say high-waisted they come up to like your belly button so I would say mid-rise which is a style I prefer low-rise just does not work with me anymore but I really do like these and once you see them on you'll see that they fit really good I was a little nervous because the, in the past, the jeans have been really tight on me, but these do have some stretch to them, and so the 6 does fit really well. Once again, these are the Reverie L Distress Skinny Jeans in the color Coral. They're a size 6, and they were $48. all the items that I got in my Stitch Fix box. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings about them. In terms of the sizing, I feel like maybe if I did change the size, which I don't remember, but if I did, that was probably a mistake on my part. I should have stayed with the smalls because the tops did kind of run big on me. I do like some of the styles. I think she missed the point on some areas, but I really love those jeans. I do like the Kaylee back split top. And the wrap top is really cute, I'm just not sure if I would end up getting it because of the size and I'm not crazy about the front tie thing going on. So overall, I think this was an okay box, not my favorite. I really do, um, I really was surprised with the jeans, so if I had to keep one item from everything, it's most likely going to be the jeans because I really don't own any other coral color jeans and I've wanted something like that color for a while. I do love the distressed look. So yeah, those are probably what I'm going to keep from this box. Which were your favorite items from my box? Let me know below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, post it down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, thanks guys. Bye.